Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh, aka You've Been Buffed. And today, I am bringing you my very first Madden franchise game. You see, I pull off a nice trade, Al Harris. I'm one of my favorite cornerbacks of all time. He may be old, but he's got the speed, which is absolutely amazing. So, um, we are cruising on into uh, the regular season. Uh, we dominated the preseason. Beat every single team that we faced. Uh, the Packers were one of the harder ones. We made a nice comeback and won by one point. It was the last second field goal. It was just really clutch. Um, I am playing on All Pro, just so you guys know, not on All Madden. If any, if things get like too easy, um, uh, then I'll probably move up to All Madden. But honestly, I don't think they're gonna be that easy. So our first game is against the Bengals. Uh, there's a good outcome. Just letting you guys uh know. And uh, right here, I believe I start to show you guys my um, depth charts. So uh, at starting quarterback, it was a hard decision. I really, I didn't want, I didn't want Colt McCoy. Sorry, Colt, I love you, but I couldn't. Um, through the preseason, pre Troy Smith and Seneca just performed like so amazing. I really like scrambling quarterbacks, so that's why I chose uh, Seneca and Troy. But Seneca was a had some more power under his arm, so. That's why I chose him as my starter. Um, Peyton Hill has also performed pretty good. Also, along with Brandon Jacobs. Brandon Jacobs is going to be my backup if anything happens to Peyton, you know. Uh, good wide receiver um, combo. We got Terrell Owens. Just, that's absolutely amazing how he got T.O. That's, that's absolutely amazing. Um, ben Watson, of course, is going to be my starter. Uh, Joe, Joe Thomas. I kind of skipped through all these. Um, I didn't really think you guys really care about him. I really shouldn't have, I sh should have just gone through him. Doesn't really matter. But Chris Gokong looking like a beast. Dequel Jackson uh, started off pretty good in this game. Uh, honestly, I think he will be the league leader in sacks in this season. Uh, doing pretty well. Joe Hayden. And there's uh, Al Harris in our third uh, third string cornerback. I was really uh, debating to bring Sheldon Brown over Al. But um, Sheldon's doing pretty good. Uh, he had some pretty good uh, preseason action. Doing pretty well. Mike Adams. At our free safety position. Uh, TJ Ward is strong safety. Usama Young did pretty good too, but uh, TJ Ward's my main man. Uh, and Phil Dawson and uh, Brad Maynard. I don't really know why Phil Dawson was in, in the punting position, even though um he's uh, higher than uh, Reggie Hodges. I've, I've liked Reggie for a long time, but um yeah, we are actually starting our very first game uh, in our hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, right on the lake. Look at all those pitchers flashing. Got the Browns flag in the middle of the field. That's not too big. Come on. We need the American flag. Greg Little. Everybody's getting pumped. So, um, they pull us out. I, I honestly cannot wait. Lawrence Vickers. There we go. That looks that looks absolutely amazing. I remember when we had Vickers. Oh, what a beast. So, um, we got, uh, Coach Pat Shermer right there. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looking nice. Hopefully we can, uh, make this season a little better than it actually was. So they choose, I believe it's heads. Wow, not choosing tails. That's a little odd. <laughs> and they receive. Look at the winds. There's 13 mile per hour winds. Honestly, it's I, I've never no, known what to choose. Like, whatever way the wind is blowing. So I just choose whatever I want to. Um, I may not be that smart, but whatever. So starting off, we get this nice little kickoff. Phil Dawson, gonna, I, I chose, I got, I tried to not go full power because I didn't want it to get in the end zone but you know sometimes it happens but um he ends up pulling it out right here I'm like oh my lord come on and I uh, actually Phil Dawson my kicker actually gets to tackle which is absolutely amazing because um I thought uh whatever his name is got the tackle and I heard Phil Dawson with the tackle I'm like wow <laughs> it's not happening again um but Phil he's a, he's an absolutely amazing player I've loved him uh so for however long I've been a football fan. Just an amazing kicker. So I'm right here. We get a nice defensive stop. They could have had an easy first down, but look at that. First play of the season, and he's already injured. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, it happens sometimes, you know. So right here, uh, probably the play of the game. Not going to lie. Maybe, maybe. Uh, actually, you know, I wouldn't say it's the play of the game, but it's pretty clutch. There we go. Fumble already. TJ Ward, a strong hitting safety, forces the fumble on the second play of the game. Scott Fujita picks it up, goes into the end zone for six, and uh, we are going to, of course, take the field goal attempt. And Phil Dawson boots it in for the extra point. 
just an easy first score. I'm very surprised how easy that was. Um, honestly, I really didn't wa really want to show that because I thought you guys would think, well, he's playing on like pro or something like that, and he gets easy fumbles and everything. No, I'm not all pro. Uh, look at Troy Smith. He's congratulating him. Um, so here we go. We're kicking it off. Uh, but honestly, I can't wait for the season. I really want to get some more trades off. I want to get um. I think my defense is actually overall pretty good because we're doing we we just we absolutely dominated this game. My offense, uh, I, I'm liking Peyton Hillis. I'm liking my wide receivers. Honestly, I would rather have Josh Cribbs just play a, a kick returner. Actually, you know what? He's fine being um. Look at that nice tackle. They get the first down, but you know, um, I, I would I would put Cribbs at somewhere in wide receiver, but like, uh, it's all right, you know. Uh, but maybe when uh T.O. retires, or maybe I can actually trade T.O. for someone real good. Look at that nice tackle by uh, Al Harris. He told you, Harris was a good pickup. He had the, he had the speed. So right here, uh, called a fair catch. I didn't want to force any, like, or uh, have any risk of getting a fumble, you know, because don't want to fumble that easily. I throw a horrible pass. Horrible. He was wide open, and we go uh, three and out and have to punt it already. And uh, he calls a fair catch. See, I was very glad. At the beginning of the game, I wasn't doing that swell. I was just glad that we got that uh, that fumble for uh, t fumble recovery for a touchdown. Nice tackle by uh, Dequel Jackson. It was pretty funny because I didn't have that that many cornerbacks uh, during preseason. So actually, Terrell Owens had to be my cornerback, and he actually got um. It was it was weird because. There's this one play, and I'm like, I'm going to get an interception with T.O., and I'm going to take it to the house. That's exactly what I did. I got an interception with Terrell Owens, and I took it right to the end zone for six. But uh, here goes Seneca. That's exactly why I love him. He's able to throw perfectly on the run. We get the flag, roughing the passer on the defense. Um, Ray Maluaga or something like that. But um, we're already uh, within the 40-yard line. Just get stopped pretty easily. Fourth down, Phil Dawson kicking it from the 29-yard line. Easy kick, and it is in 10-0. Browns are up. So here we go. Andy Dalton passes it out to uh, Cedric Benson, taking it pretty far. How many? Oh, 19-yard uh, gain, I believe. And there we go. He just throws it right out of bounds because of my amazing rush defense. Uh, fourth and six, they punt it away to Jay Cribs. Um, and, of course, I let it go, but right here, I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? So I ended up uh, having to take it from the two. Um, that was just a nice bounce by the kicker. Uh, I congratulate him for that. But you know, things happen sometimes. So um, right here, I have no clue why I didn't cut that scene out. But uh, I think I just wanted to show it because we're on the two-yard line. And uh, may, some people may pass it, but uh, I took it with a nice run just to get up a little. Uh, so we have a little safety room. And then just uh, toss it out. Right outside to Greg Little. Nice catch. There we go. And I got sacked. I got I got ripped. Look at him. He's dancing. He's crumping. <laughs> and here goes Peyton Hillis taking it up the middle. And, of course, we go three and out again. Um, and we are going to have to punt it. And they call for a fair catch. My special teams are just doing pretty good, too. We're not letting anybody go that far except for the first play of the game. That was pretty sad. But right here, maybe one of the plays of the game, maybe even the season... Mike Adams, just a nice little interception. Look at him dancing. He's all excited. Just a wide... He, I, would, I wouldn't say he was wide open. Andy Dalton, he took a risk there. But um, just look at this. Just reaches out. That was a user pick, too. Look at that catch. I believe it was a user pick because I, I, I did it myself. Um, But here goes Peyton Hillis driving right up the right side and go three and out again. <laughs> um, I wasn't doing that good with my rushing offense. And uh, Shipley takes it and holding on the defense. So um, I was I was excited about that. And uh, right here, bam! Oh, uh, I thought he caught that one right there. I was actually excited because I thought it was a fumble. But um, nice nice tackle by Sheldon Brown, looking like he's tackling Reggie Bush all over again. If you guys don't remember that tackle, oh, what a beast! Um, so right here. Taking him down. Sheldon Brown is doing what he is paid for. He is stopping them on third down. That's exactly what I want. So they are forced to kick it again. It is still 10-0. to 
with uh, 16 seconds left in the second half. I, I honestly, I should have called the timeout a little earlier, but um, here goes Jay Cribs, kind of getting loose and then getting tackled. Right again, so start of the third quarter after halftime, 10-0. Uh, Josh Cribs is taking it for another return, and I try a noob spin move, and we get stopped at the 20-yard line. So, better than nothing. There goes Terrell Owens, taking it deep. Nice 21-yard reception by T.O. Um, I forget how many yards he had. Uh, I forgot to look at it. But here goes Seneca Wallace, rushing. That's exactly why I chose him as my starting QB. He's actually, I think he's one speed higher than uh, uh, Troy Smith. And here we go, Peyton Hillis, taking it to the house. Showing off at the end, nice touchdown. Peyton is just an absolute beast right now. That's why he was on the cover. Didn't do that fair, or didn't that that didn't do that fantastic uh, during the season, but um, in this game he's doing pretty good. So uh, Phil Dawson boots in for uh, another extra point, 17 to zero. Look at that kick by Phil, kicking it all the way back, almost getting it into the uh, goalpost, but um, not happening. And I get wrecked by Cedric Benson right there. Uh, Sheldon Brown, he did get uh, stiff arm, but you know he's all right. And there we go, Nicole Jackson. Like I said, he got a play. He had a good play, got an interception, um, brought us back into the offense position, and a uh, nice throw to uh, Ben Watson, and uh, he coughs it up. He coughed it up. Ah, uh, look at him. I love Ben Watson. He's he's an absolute beast. So I that was the stupidest decision decision of my life. I shouldn't have wasted the challenge. I should have watched the replay. But I challenge it. Um, the <laughs> it would have shown the thing right there. Could have I could have a uh, had a better chance of knowing if it was an actual fumble or not. Wouldn't have lost the timeout. But um, you see the ball is clearly out before I hit the ground. I was I was thinking that my butt hit the ground before um I fell. But you see the ball came out. See you know that that was actually kind of close. If you look really close, but um you know the Bengals got the ball back. The play stands. It's all right. You know, still winning 17-0. So, um, right after that, we just stop them. Just stop them. Uh, it was an all-out defensive effort by the Browns. Uh, doing pretty good. I like my defense. And right there, you see I call You see, I call fair catch, and I get tackled. A little glitch there. Um, I, no penalty called. <laughs> um, but there we go, Peyton Hill is taking it right up the middle for the nice 10-yard uh, game. Uh, first down and here goes Seneca handing it off to Peyton again with a nice big 15 yard rush uh, Doing pretty good 159 yards so far in this game and outside to a uh, Lawrence Vickers and gets stopped right on the one yard line and right here. I was like No, no <laughs> Yeah, Lawrence Vickers ah, He got injured, but um, the good news is uh, you'll see in a second. It was only a concussion or I, I when I I knew it was a concussion, um, but that that's when I saw he will not be able to return for this game. That's when I started getting mad. Um, then I looked in the injury reports after the game, and he is going to be fine coming back next week. So uh, Phil boots it in for two after Peyton scores again. And uh, Cedric Benson just takes it. He's going full speed. Look at that. But I still stop him with uh, Demetrius Patterson. And Al Harris trying to rush in, but a look at this. Mike Adams pulls through again with another interception in the end zone. Um, taking it out to the 10-yard line, or 9-yard line. Uh, two interceptions for Mike Adams. One clutch one and another one deep downfield. That was that was pretty legit. That may be the play of the game. So um, they fumble it uh, with 30 seconds left in the fourth and uh, get a nice tackle. Uh, wrecked them with 12 seconds left in the game. They try to just uh, do a screen pass. Not happening. Uh, stop them with five seconds left. They have no timeouts. 24 to zero is our final score. Browns versus Bengals. First game was a success. Um, honestly, I believe this Browns season is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, to all excited. Uh, but honestly, I don't want to be cocky or anything. But I guarantee the playoffs. Maybe even a Super Bowl. I'm feeling so confident with this Browns team right now. Uh, 
to an absolutely fantastic Scott Fujita, uh, player of the game, two tackles and one uh, fumble recept, uh, recovery, and he gets the touchdown there. I honestly think uh, Mike Adams should have got the uh, player of the game because pretty much he stopped to uh, he stopped an opportunity for a touchdown and he stopped an opportunity for a field goal kick. So yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching the first episode of my Madden franchise with the Browns. You know who it is. It is Josh, a.k.a. Ubenubified. More videos to come, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.